Hello there, uh, this is Tom Meeks, and I'm going to be showing you how I did the uh, counter-rotating stars. I thought it would be a little fun. I'm using Moment of Inspiration. You can find it at moi3d.com. It's an absolutely fantastic program. I'm limited in the size that I can record to be effective on the web, so I'm going to have to trade out controls. I hope that doesn't drive you too crazy, but it drives me a little bit crazy. Normally, I can see all of the controls. Well, let's start by creating a four-pointed star. I've already got a four up here. I've got the front view. Remember, we had a split screen. I've decided I want to look from the top, rather. I'll start here, and I'll create our star. Now, that point is a little too much. I don't want it to come to that point. So I'm going to go to Draw a Curve, make a circle. I'm going to come out here with our circle. All right, now I've got a circle and a star. I'm going to select the star and go over to Edit, uh, no, Construct, Boolean, and click this intersection. Now, I already had this highlighted, so it knows that I want to use this in the intersection. And it says, select a second object set. I'm going to do that. Boom, done. And there, there where the intersection occurred, it cut off those points. It's a wonderful program. This is going to be my first star. Now I'm going to make my second star. Well, to make the second star, I'm going to do another um, another star, four-pointed, but I'm going to say custom this time. And we'll come here. We'll come way out here. All right. I should actually... And now I can make my custom star like this. Now for this shape, I'm doing a little different. This is going to be completely solid. This is going to be somewhat solid. And the somewhat solid is going to be determined by uh, the, the fact that I'm going to make it have an ins a, a border. It's really going to be a border. I don't know how to explain that, but let's let's try it. I'll show you what I'm talking about at least. If I go here, if I select that object and I go here to offset, and I say through the point, and I move my back and forth, you'll see that I now have the same shape, but I can expand that out and be a little wider, a little bigger. Now I'm going to ex first ex extrude this shape. We'll go up 30. I just have to put in the number 30. I could look at it in a different angle, but this is the easiest way to do it. And that's a solid shape ex ex uh, extruded. I'll get that right. At 30. Now let's look at it from the front. You can see that I've uh, done that. Okay. Now let's go back to the top. And I'm going to select this and this. And I'm going to extrude that the same amount. Okay, uh, extrude. We'll go back to the front view, and you'll see that I can there now I've matched that. That's thirty. There's two different ways, many different ways, that I can determine that. And now I have two extruded shapes, one inside the other. Let's go to the top, and you'll see. And I want to get rid of these lines that I use to create these things. All right, now I have two different shapes. I'm going to click on this, and I'm then going to go down here to Transform, Deform, Twist. Okay, this is the tricky part. I'm looking from the top, I click on the center, but then I go to the front view and make a line that goes from here to here. And then I give an angle, we'll say 30, and if you look down from the top, we've now twisted that. All right. Now I'm going to say done, and I'm going to say th here, uh, same deal. I'm going to go deform, deform, twist, center. No, oh, excuse me, wait a minute, let me cancel this. I noticed that I had this selected too. I only want to select this. I don't want to select the other. It'll take it back to where it was. Okay, now I go twist, pick the center of the twist, go to the front. I, need, I notice that my... Uh, point is there, so I'm coming down. But instead of going 30, I'm going to say minus 30. 
And now what I have is counter-rotating objects inside each other. And the cool thing is they intersect so that this object becomes one object now. And I can say done, do this, construction, boolean, union, and now it's created one single object that has my uh, counter-rotating shapes. It's a cool program, isn't it? We'll be looking more at uh, this program as I work with the cube and design different things, but it's, it's something worth considering.